Hello, my name is Patrick Dutrain. I'm the main developer working on Minarca Data Backup Solution. In a previous video, I've already shown you how to install Minarca server on a Debian Linux server. In this one, we'll go through the installation of Minarca agent to uh, do a first initial backup of a Windows computer. Uh, to get started, we'll, we'll use the Minarca website We'll go to the download section and we'll select our operating system. As you can see, we support, we support the main uh, Windows, Mac OS, Linux uh, operating system. So this is a Windows machine. It's a virtual machine. We'll download Minarca and we'll click on the executable and we'll, we'll launch the installation. So this is the installation process. There's nothing special here. So let's just agree and install and it's gonna do the rest. And now the installation is complete and it shall create a new icon on your desktop and it shall also be available in here somewhere in your um, start menu. So we'll double click on the application and we are presented with a setup dialogues. So when you first start Minarca, it doesn't know where to back up its data. So we're going to need to input a couple of information. Um, so that's the IP address of the server we, uh, we already configured. So you're going to need that and make sure that you also input the proper port uh, use for your server if it's not using the default one and for this demo I will use the administrator username and password so which is admin for the username and admin123 for the password and for the demonstration I will also keep a repository name which is this one it's ugly uh, but for that's for the demo uh, for yourself well make sure that this name is meaningful for you and represent something uh, for this computer uh, since it's going to be used to identify uh, this machine in Minarca web interface. So I will just click sign in and now what it's going to do is connect to the Minarca server, exchange the SSH keys and check for connectivity. Uh, so it's all done in background. So now Minarca is now ready to, uh, to do the first backup, but before that, we'll go through the various options available. Uh, so first, and it's probably the area where we're gonna need to do most of the modification, it's the select files. So that's all of you to select which files you want to include or exclude from your backup. So I strongly advise you to well, make sure that it suits your need. By default, users' documents are backup and everything else is excluded. Well, also, I shall also exclude the system volume information, clearly. Um, in scheduled backup, well, that's the frequency to execute the backup in background. Uh, once a day is great, twice a day, perfect. Hourly, it's a bit extreme, depend of your need. This option is specific to Windows and it's really required if your Minarca is running on a Windows server which is not used by anyone, uh, that allow Minarca to execute in background regardless if a user is actually logged in. Uh, when you're gonna enable this feature, it's gonna prompt you for a username and password for the administration, uh, that's to allow Minarca to re register itself as a background task. And in settings, well, that's where it's actually check if your version is up to date. And it's also an option here to disconnect this Minarca agent from the server. So we'll not use that now. We'll go back to the home and we'll trigger the start backup. So now our backup is running in background and it's gonna send data to 
our server. There's a useful link here to quickly jump to your machine. And here we go. So this is our computer that we just back up. That's the C drive. And now I can browse the document which got backed up by Minarca agent. And I think the initial, no, it's not yet completed. If I go back to repository, so as you can see, the initial backup is still in progress. It might take a while. It really depends on your network connectivity and the amount of data that need to be backed up. Uh, I will not wait for it to complete as I don't know exactly. Oh, see, it's already, <laughs> it's already done. So if I hit the refresh button, voila. So now we have a, uh, a first initial backup done on your new server using Minarka agent. So I hope this video was useful. Thanks for watching.